Warning. Warning. If you have young kids in the car, turn down your radio. Warning. Repeat. Warning. Adult content ahead in three, two, one. one. Now, now it's time for Jared and Katie's War of the Roses call on 107.5 KZL, the number one hit music station. Jared and Katie, my boyfriend of a year, was just spotted on TV. Tinder. Oh, no. You got to help me figure this out. I don't understand. My friend April is single and has been on Tinder for almost three months and sent me a screenshot yesterday of my boyfriend's profile. Can you please do a War of the Roses on him to see if he's on there for real? That's kind of risky. Or if he's just fooling around. Yeah. Uh, But can't anybody Mm. put your photo? Um, They could. They could. I mean, like if you were hugged, you would want to put a different photo. Right. <laughs> you, might, you might put one of our photos. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that's thinking positively that maybe somebody out, maybe a friend. Would you guys ever go to that length? No. no to no, create no, a Tinder for one of your friends? Because you can never meet somebody. Yeah. yeah. You never meet anybody. Okay. This is uh, from Renee. So, and we do have Renee on the phone. Hi, hi, Renee. Hi. Hey, so um, the good news here, we just read your letter, and Jason Goodman is thinking positively. He says maybe it was a friend who made a profile. Are you thinking that, or you think he's on Tinder or for real? Just using his using his photo. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I yeah, I've talked to a couple of my friends that are guys, mm-hmm. and they're trying to calm me down and say maybe he's just messing around, doing it for fun. Maybe a friend did it. I am trying to think it's anything other than that he's trying to find someone else. Yeah, because that would be devastating to me. Because you guys, you say you've been together for a year, and now he's on, or I guess you just have noticed him on Tinder. Yeah, I mean, I I, I would have no reason to be on Tinder or to know he's there. Mm-hmm. If April hadn't sent me a screenshot, right. I would have never imagined. I, I mean, when she sent it to me, I thought it was a joke. There could be an explanation, but usually the simplest explanation is the correct one. Um, but the, we never know. Yeah, well, if you're still up for it, I know this is very difficult, but um, we would like to help you. We will do a War of the Roses if you're still interested. Well, I feel like I need to know for sure. I, I, I can, you know, everybody gives me a different feeling. Like yeah. maybe it's nothing, maybe it's something, but I don't know. In my gut, I feel like there's a reason that he's there. All right, well, you have provided the number, so we'll give him a call, and you can um, hang on the line, okay? Okay. All right, hold on. Hello? Hi, may I speak with Kevin, please? This is Kevin. Hey, Kevin, this is Samantha from in downtown Winston-Salem. How are you? Doing well. How about yourself? We're good. Kevin, before you hang up the phone, I just want to let you know this is no strings attached. Uh, we're doing a, a drawing where um, two parties are going to win free dozen red, ro- free dozen red roses. And um, it, we're, the person that we have picked re- who registered gets the roses. And then their friend gets a f- uh, free dozen red roses. And in your case, your friend Jim... Are you familiar with Jim? Yeah. He nominated you, and so you get a free dozen red roses. Wow. Yeah, and you can send them okay. to anybody. Um, we deliver, we can mail outside of the triad, but we can hand deliver right here in the triad. So all we need from you, seriously, is just the name of who you want to send these roses to. Uh, okay. We can um, handle the rest. Um, I'll send it to my, hold on one second. I'm sorry? Kevin? Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I, I'd like to send it to my girlfriend, Renee. Okay. And Renee's last name is? Uh, okay, great. And um, do you have an, a special, you want to say happy anniversary or happy birthday? Is there a special occasion we can put on there? It's sweet um, that you're sending them to your girlfriend. Um, just, uh, just uh, I love you and, um, you know, uh, like happy whatever day it is that she gets them. <laughs> Okay, um, I'll just we'll fill something out there. It's great. I'm glad to hear that you're sending them to your girlfriend. I with all the dating sites these days and problems are going on social media for dating. I would not want to be single again. So hold on one second. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of so it's, it's easier to meet people online, right? I mean, I'm on Tinder, but I've never 
you know, I don't know to send flowers to my girlfriend at least. <laughs> Oh my God, Kevin! What do you mean? You're just looking. You're on Tinder. Nay. What the? F- what the f- is going on? I can't you believe it. Up. Renee. Yeah, it's a Renee. What are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? What are you, what doing? Are you doing? I thought I was ordering flowers for you. Renee? Yeah, you're ordering flowers for me and telling someone else that you're on Tinder. Just looking. What are you looking for? I'm looking whatever. God, this is not... What do you mean, whatever? Not there, Renee. Are you kidding me? Come on. I can't oh, so I'm your girlfriend, but what, you're just looking for something better? No, I'm not looking for something better. I'm just, I'm just looking, like I said. I'm just looking around. Well, why do you need to look? What is it you need to look for? I'm not just looking. I thought we had something good together. Do you know how embarrassing this is? My friend April sent me a screenshot because she saw your profile. Who? April. You know April? That stupid fat bitch. Are you kidding me? Now she's a stupid fat bitch. Why? Because she's hot? She's jealous. Oh my God. Jealous? That I have a cheating boyfriend? Yeah, she's jealous. And I'm not cheating on you. Oh, my God. What does she have to be jealous of? Us. You don't anything even get it, do you? Normal. You don't see anything wrong with what you're doing. Sal at the state fair. You're unbelievable, Kevin. I can't believe it. A year. Well, believe it. We've been together for a year. So I kind of want to know. Kevin, it's Jared and Katie in the morning on 107.5 KZL. Great. Great. Perfect. I, I mean... Well, you have a Tinder profile. What's going on? You're just looking? Yeah. What? Yeah, for, just looking. For what? Well, you can keep looking. Have you ever been right. on any I dates? I will keep looking. Have you ever been any on a, any dates from Tinder? Dude, stay out of this, man. What the... Oh, what? You can't answer? <laughs> Obviously, then you have. I mean, it's simple yes or no. You yeah. Know. I mean, you either know you have or you haven't. It's not a trick question. Goodbye. I'm hanging up. <laughs> I would have to say that I have wanted to be on Tinder for a long time now. You have been, and I know I'm married, but right. it's not that I want to go on dates. I just want to see like who would say yes or no. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? But, but this s- guy was like, I wouldn't at- react like that. I would totally have been like, Yeah, I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, but he couldn't even answer if he had met anyone or not. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Sounds yeah. suspicious. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about your friend April. I don't know if yeah, what really. he said was true or not, but. Kind of harsh. He's beautiful, and he knows it. Yeah, I think in this case, he's just he's lashing he's out. Mad that he got caught. Yeah, obviously. Um, you know, Renee, the best news here is that you all were dating. You weren't married, and right? You can move forward without any strings attached. Yeah. And the best way to get over Thank somebody is under somebody. Thank you. <laughs> Words get on, of wisdom. Or get on Tinder yourself. Or get on Tinder. If you would like Jared and Katie to do one of their War of the Roses calls for you, simply email katie at 1075kzl.com.